Hey, what's up, guys? I have got a another Steelbook unboxing for you. This is Galaxy of Terror from Screen Factory, Shelf Factory. Like I mentioned in the Forbidden Planet one, this was previously released by Shelf Factory, just a regular Emery case, um, and like a Roger Corman like special thing. But uh, they re-released it with um, new 4K scan. Is it 4K? Yeah, 4K scan of the film. And I think that's actually the only new thing. But that's fine with me because I didn't own it before. Um, and it says limited edition steel packaging, limited quantity manufactured, collected while it lasts. Now, it, when they first started making these steel books, like the the Fog and They Live and whatnot, the John Carpenter ones, I think they made like ten thousand of them, and they weren't selling all of them. So I think they started making like five thousand. So they actually are a bit more limited quantity now. I think, unless this is just bullshit. But um, I know that um, finally, after two years, the They Live one is out of stock on their website. And then the other ones, I think, are still available. But um, same with the the uh, lithographs. They used to print, you know, 4,000 of them or something, 5,000. Now, now they only print, like, 500, which just tells you how many they had fucking left over. I think you can still buy the lithographs with, um, like, um, which ones? I don't know. They live? I don't know. No, that one's out, too. I don't want to talk about it. Talking to my ass. Who cares? I'm just saying they're, they're, they're producing less than they used to because they were overestimating the... Um, desire for these, I guess. People like us, obviously, collectors and whatnot, like them, but regular folks don't give a shit about steelbooks that often, or lithographs that they can't even fucking frame because there's two, they're weird sizes and they're expensive, so what the hell is the point of that, guys? Just push this back and forth. All right. So anyway, Galaxy of Terror, what am I talking about? I've never seen this film, just like The Forbidden Planet. I haven't seen very many Roger Corman films. The only one I think I've seen is um, Human Rights from the Deep. I watched that last year, which I thought was kind of a weird, rapey film. But, um, interesting, I guess. I have that steelbook, too, but I didn't do an unboxing of it because I didn't get the stuff of it anyway. Anyway, Rabble Rabble. Actually, let me unbox this because it's all glary like usual. Glary Gary. <clears throat> Excuse me. Shit. I thought I cut it off here. There we go. Here. Just one single dot. I like that they just do one dot as opposed to like 40 dots. They used to do when they did these steel books, they're just like dots all over the place. Now it's just the one. Galaxy of Terror. Cool. It was my own fear that attacked me, brought to life somehow by by this place. Cool. Ain't nothing behind, like usual. And there's the cover of the uh, poster art again. Kind of like that. I don't know if I like this giant face, noseless face here, but it's, you know, it is what it is. Kind of cool. So that's the steel book, and just like before, I don't see any glares or cuts or anything like that. It is, um, it's glary because it's so uh, glossy, because I think all of them are glossy, but um, looks like it's in good shape. Fucking better be in good shape. Guy. Yeah, looks okay. No spine splashes on these either because they're not produced the same way, I guess. Okay, so here is this stuff from dvdrivein.com, which I've never heard of. Enough spurting gore and bone-crushing excess to make even Lucio Fulci please. Well, there you go. There's a ringing endorsement right there. Huh. Okay. The mind's innermost fears become reality for the crew members of the Quest when they land on a barren planet to rescue survivors from the starship Remus. <coughs> Excuse me. The crew investigates a giant pyramid on the planet, hoping to find the missing crew members, only to find something deadly waiting for them inside. Each crew member must come face to face with their darkest fears or perish. The crew of the Quest includes Edward Albert, Aaron Moran, Ray Walston, uh, Robert England, of course, I remember that one, uh, Zalvin King, and Sid Haig. Ooh, really? The film had its share of new emerging talents behind the camera as well, including James Cameron, really, who did production design, and actor Bill Paxton, who worked as a set decorator. Interesting, that's so cool. What year is this? 1981. Damn. I mean, I've heard of the film before, but I've never seen it, so that's cool. Like I said, there's a new 4K skin of the original film elements, audio commentary with the cast and crew, and then looks like a, a six-part documentary, The Tales from the Lumberyard, 
making a galaxy of terror interviews producer director co-editor co-editor interviews and yeah interviews with the actors cool and then the usual faculty trailers to use possible galleries so that's cool you know and then i guess i've opened the other one so i might as well this one as well even though i don't really need to i suppose Well, I'll put this down a little bit. Okay. This way. This way? Yeah. I would like to get these frames, but it's just... Like I said, it's like a 21... Does it even say on there? I think it's 21 by 18. Hold on. It's not focusing. Of course it isn't. Hold on a second. This thing is not cooperating. There we go, you can kind of see it now. And like I said before with the Forbidden Planet one, I don't see any dings or cuts or tears or anything, so that's typical of the new design that they're doing with the um, other package. But uh, that's cool. Like I said, I, I would love to get these framed, but it's just, it's not like framing the regular ones, the 24 by 18 ones, because you can just buy posters of those anywhere. I mean, frames for any, anywhere, like 10, 12 bucks for these cheap ass frames. But these ones are, unless you want to have the white out on the sides and stuff or whatever you want to do, they're just, they're way, they're, they're, I swear, it's 21.5 by 18.5 or something like that, which is just not normal. Because of course it's not normal. Dicks. Anyway. It's nice artwork. I like, I like the color scheme. I like everything, but to go back in the tube until apparently I win the lottery and can afford all this shit. Probably just sell these, shouldn't I? Oh. There you go. Let's put it out there. I'll take care of it later. There's Galaxy of Terror. And the last of my unboxings right now, so. Um, I do have... Do I have anything else come from Screen Factory? I might. I don't recall. I got more stuff coming from Marvel this week because, of course, it's the August 13th was just everything they had. Avengers, all the a new Iron Man 4Ks and the new Thor 4Ks are coming out and I ordered basically everything because I'm a fucking glutton. <laughs> and I needed it, so. But that doesn't have anything to do with Galaxy of Terror, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna watch one of these movies I just unboxed at some point here. Probably today. I don't know. But yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Checking out my Steelbook unboxings and my crazy ramblings. But uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again... Uh, next week, or even, I guess right after this video, whatever we're gonna do. It's, anyway, that's it, guys. I'm rambling. Bye.